Welcome back fishing friends to another adventure. All right guys, this is my home spillway. You can tell how crazy it is. I'm waiting to get down here, but these crazy snakes are all down in there. So everything's trying to take cover because of the flooding. But I'm gonna pitch this in here first. Just to see if we can get anything to sniff. Hey, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me. My name's Alan and I make fishing videos and have a good time with, look at all the bait fish down there. No wonder the snake was hanging out there. So what happens here is the bigger fish will stack in here and just feed. So I'm just throwing this little, and the crappie will get in there. Look at all those fish, it's just, they're all piled in there. So I'm just pitching this in here. Maybe snipe a crappie out of there. The problem is, is the current is so whacked. You can't, it's hard to tell what, you know, what's going where. It's one of my little hair jigs. See if I pitch it there, it automatically gets into the cycle swirl here. Look at all that, something chasing all that bait fish up. Sheesh. Man, that is just crazy. Ooh. Anyway, but I have my normal bass stuff I'll pitch in there. I'm gonna throw the CC spoon down in there for sure. Check it out, there's even bait over there swimming. I'm gonna run a crankbait through here. All right. Let me get the bass gear. Sorry guys, I'm just thinking out loud here trying to figure out what in the heck I'm gonna do. All right. Let me get the other stuff. Throwing this six cents axis through here. Still got to be careful of all the snakes down there. And so this thing looks like a knuckleball down there. I get some chasers, but they're not very big. I see big fish right up in the grass there. If I could get a cast over there. There we go. Man, all those bait fish. Whew. So if you've never thrown the six cents access axis, 
I got that one snagged up. Give it a shot, man. It's a, it looks like a knuckleball down there. It's got a metal blade and it glistens and it's just got a great wobble to it. Another great product from Six Sense. All right. All right, guys. So I'm throwing a, a football head jig in there with a Max Scent Craw on the back of it. Just working it on the bottom. I had one good thump and that was it. Then nothing else. This is one of these Beast Coast tungsten jigs. Little weed guard, there's the craw. And I put some of that Procure on the head of it. <laughs> and I'm just pitching into the, see I know what this looks like when the water's down. So it's a beach, so it's smooth. So I'm just dragging this, hoping that something will hit it. When I swim it and bring it up to the surface, I get all kinds of chasers. You see the bait fish is still down there. So the water has gone down just a bit, not much. As we're hooked up, I was just jigging it along the wall and we got a nice crappie. Check this out. Nice. Let's get them into the staging area here so I can get them unhooked. Sketchy stuff. All right, here we are. Ooh, there's that snake down there slinking around. There he is. In that high water. For the release. All right. Yeah, the footing is terrible here, guys. So, I'm just jigging the CC spoon right along the wall here where it swirls. I wasn't having any luck on anything in the, in the beach area there. So with this, I just gotta make sure I don't get it stuck in the chain link fence. See, it swirls around in there. Look at that big log. Ooh. That water rushed in there a little bit different. There we go. You guys, there's tons of bait fish there and I'm still jigging this right amongst them. Nothing yet, besides that crappie.
All right, boys, we're hooked up. Our other spot here. This one's on a Beast Coast jig right here. If I can get a grip on him. There we go. Not a bad fish right there. Ooh. So I got him on this guy. Right here with a little spine craw trailer. So this is one of these little Beast Coast OW snipers. Excuse me. And then you can see the little spine craw from Yum. I pinch off just a little bit for it. So I got my crappie rig out here. So far nothing doing. And then I had my crappie set up for uh, casting and reeling and I didn't get anything. Um, one of my little micro rigs on a jig spinner, one of those little beetle spin type deals from Mr. Twister. But this guy, I was just bouncing it along here and letting it sit there. And he got whacked. It's clouding up. Things are kind of calming down now. Which is making it nice, but look how chocolatey this water. Usually this lake is nice and clear. Super chocolatey. Guys, so that bass was on that Beast Coast jig and of course guess what next cast I lost the jig on a snag because there's a bunch of rock and brush piles that people have put out here for crappie and of course it got hung up and I couldn't couldn't get it out okay now this I've got a lake fork I can't remember what it is but it's like a french fry type deal it's a fat little deal that I've got wacky rigged. I've caught lots of fish on this. And so I'm just kind of letting it flutter down and then boop, pop it, flutter it. It's jet black and boy, it looks juicy. So I'm just kind of pitching it around, wacky rigged, of course. Man, so spot number one, jigging along there where that water was I just couldn't get anything going there except for that one. Here we go. This is what it looks like. Pretty enticing as long as I don't get it snagged. So I've got an, just a, a bare open hook on it. Yeah, this water is super chocolatey. Before in that other catch, I had to keep it down because I had like people in here looking at all these wildflowers. I don't know what they were doing. Some kind of uh, flora, fauna, botany, botanist type stuff in there. And when I caught the fish, they were like, eh, whoa. Yeah, they were going bananas. <laughs> oh, man. They're like, do you eat the bass? And I was like, no. That's why I throw him back. I said he was kind of small, so. Anyway, it was kind of funny. I'm kind of by where there's like a university. So I'm thinking that there was like a little botany group. Let's see if anything's under the dock here.
So I've thrown this for a while. I may switch to a, a jackhammer. So I haven't had anything on the crappie rig. I'm starting to get frustrated. Right there, one of my little hair jigs. So I threw it for a while where I was jigging it, moving it, jigging it, moving it out. Just got it kind of sitting there, letting the wind kind of bob it. You know how crappie are, they're so curious, they'll come up and just whack it anyway. But I'm gonna to switch to a jackhammer and then I may actually try one other thing first. One of these Grande Bass little, it's kind of like a little ring fry type deal like this. Ooh, did you guys hear that? Something's lurking in there. I gotta switch. I don't know much about this company, guys. Grande Bass. They're out of my home state. This looks like a giant caterpillar. It's weedless. So I don't know if the bass are up into those reeds or not. I was still in top water for a while. There we go. So then I, I'll stitch it if I need it to move a little. What is going on there? Oh, I'm on somebody's fishing line. Crying out loud. See a bobber and there's a fishing line. Jeez Louise. All right, guys. Here we go. Hmm. I think I'm free. All right, guys. I'm free. I'm back in there. With this Grande Bass. Senko type deal. What is this? There's not even a boat in sight. Look at this. And we're rocking like crazy. How weird. Alright, nothing there. So it looks like a little caterpillar. It's kind of a cool little bait. Oops. Come on, you don't, you don't need to be hung up like that. You're weedless. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys, nothing on the little hair jig. I fished it for a little bit longer, pitching it around. And no luck. Water's still chocolatey. Had another snag. I switched to a Biospawn Exo Stick. After that, Grande Bass, little fat, little green, chubby caterpillar sink. So then I hooked up a Biospawn Exo Stick, fired along out through the middle all the way fan casting all the way in here and about three feet out even though i'm weedless i got snagged i don't know how in the heck i got snagged there anyway that's gonna wrap it up for today guys thanks for hanging out with me at these spots it's been kind of rough lately with this crazy water levels that's why i came out here but the fishing's been a little bit rough out here 
But thanks for hanging out with me. And until next time, I will see you then. Bye-bye. Now get out there and get your lures wet.